The new game from Assassin's Creed creator Patrice Desolet is an ape simulator where you must learn to evolve. Here's everything you need to know about Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey. So, first things first, Ancestors, the humankind odyssey from Assassin's Creed and Prince of Persia creator Patrice Desolé isn't quite what you'd expect. Sure, there's history and a whole lot of climbing, but this is a unique survival game where you gradually uncover the secrets of evolution directly from the view of an ape. Desolé and his new indie studio Panache are taking us back to the jungle to the very first icon on that evolutionary t-shirt, and it's a lot to get used to. Let's jump back in time without an animus. Here's everything you need to know about Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. So, here we are, in the jungle, 10 million years ago. And your sole mission? To be an ape. No, seriously, there you are, as part of a clan living in a jungle of deadly creatures. The simple, yet not simple, aim of the game is to challenge yourself to evolve faster than your own ancestors. This is the core of the Humankind Odyssey, survival and evolution. Desolé has purposefully left the missions and fetch quests of Assassin's Creed behind, letting you have your own completely unique adventure in the jungle. This is a sprawling open world full of life to uncover. You can climb every surface, and there's a fun, if nerve-wracking swinging mechanic to get to grips with as you learn to sail through the trees with your babies in tow. Get it right and you'll feel like a prehistoric Spider-Man. Get it wrong and you'll be limping through the forest with broken bones, desperately hoping nothing arrives to eat you and the little ones. At its core, Ancestors is a survival game, but a totally unique one. The bar on the left of the screen is your dopamine levels that you'll need to keep high by doing activities, and the circle in the middle is your stamina and health that you'll need to keep eating to keep happy. But what to eat? Well, that's all down to you. After a quick introduction where you play as a baby ape, no, not monkey, but try getting that song out of your head now, the world opens up in an almost intimidating way. You need to discover everything. Helpfully, you're given a few handy senses. With a press of a button, you can use your intelligence vision to see items around you. A question mark will indicate an item that you don't know, and you can head on over, pick it up and inspect it to see exactly what it is. Is this food or a weapon, friend or foe? This means that everything feels like a new mini-adventure. Discover an egg and eat it, and your body will become omnivorous. Find a specific type of plant, and if you lay enough of it down on the ground in a pile, you can make a bed. Nothing is explained here though. Everything is trial and error, and while there are button prompts that let you know what you can do with each item, it's working out what to do that's the challenge. This means that every walk in any direction feels like a risk, but also a victory. The moment that I realised that if I held a coconut in one hand and a rock in the other and could smash it open was almost most godlike as I unlocked more tools. What do you mean it's only a coconut? This is what victory looks like. It's time for the ultimate evolutionary skill tree. Every discovery you make, and as you learn new actions and reactions, your ape neurons are upgraded. Every food source discovery or bonding with fellow clan members means that you're literally evolving your grey matter. Head to a bed in Ancestors, and this is where you'll start evolving your brain via an upgrade tree. Suddenly you'll unlock skills to use both hands to be able to pass items back and forth, increase your intelligence radius to find more tools, or even identify food sources significantly faster. It's these skill upgrades that mean you can do even more with the world around you, and let you unlock more tools and actions. To strip the twigs off a stick and learn to fish in fishing spots, or find water sources or even rocks faster. Nothing is ever easy, but even these starter upgrades in the jungle feel like genuine leaps forward. And that's before we travel through the 8 million years of evolution planned for the game. So if learning to feed yourself without Deliveroo and not falling out of trees wasn't enough, it turns out that staying alive long enough to evolve is hard. Like, really hard. This is an environment that's just longing to sink its exceptionally poisonous fangs into your AP behind. Snakes, warthogs and other predators are everywhere, and it's important to remember that they're trying to evolve too. While there is a dodge button to get you out of harm's way, climbing is definitely a good option if you don't fancy becoming lunch on the floor of the jungle. 
Django. However, it's important to remember that pythons can make it into the trees as well. Your status effects pop up on the bottom left of the screen, but it's very obvious when you've been poisoned and need to self-medicate. In a world of no pharmacies, this is a serious challenge, but water helps remove the poison from your system. Heading out into the unknown parts of the world is a big risk too, and it turns out that facing your fear as an ape is a big deal. Go too far into a swamp and you'll start to be afraid, with eyes appearing out of the dark and very real crocodiles lurking below. Dealing with this stress and not succumbing is yet another way of upping your dopamine levels and upgrading those all-important neurons. Here's the thing, you're going to die in Ancestors. If the broken bones and bleeding doesn't kill you, the giant crocodiles definitely will. And this is where the importance of your clan comes in. You can always see how many individuals are part of your clan in the bottom right corner of the screen. If you've been carrying baby apes on you, which might feel more stressful but actually means you'll unlock brain power faster, and you happen to die, you'll immediately gain control of a little one. This wee one needs to find a hiding spot and then you'll be able to go out and rescue it as a grown ape, using your oral senses to find out where it's hiding and squeaking and start the whole process again. Yep, as an add-on easter egg spot for Assassin's Creed fans, the first thing you have to do in Ancestors A Humankind Odyssey is to find and make your way to a hiding spot. Yes, I see you Patrice. Anyway, to make sure you don't run out of new playable apes and you can always just switch when you want, it's important to do some clan management. You have a safe base that you can move around and it's here that you'll find the rest of your group. One of the most important ways to make sure you've got a constant supply of new critters is, of course, to bond and mate with others. In order to do that, you'll need to groom your intended partner and eat the bugs from their fur. Just like real life. Once you've coupled up, you can mate and birth an all new ridiculously cute individual to keep your lineage going. So that's everything you need to know about Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey. Let me know if you have any questions about the game and I'll try and answer them in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more previews and features just like this one. If you do already subscribe, remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.